Hi, this is Lopa Mudra Mohanty again, uh, lovingly called as Big Buddy from Big Buddy World. Let's listen to stories of a place called Humpy, earlier known as Pampa and now called Humpy. So this is the second story in the story, the Humpy story series. And today I'm going to tell you a mythological tale. When I visited Humpy, I saw this beautiful image carved on a slab on the gateway leading towards the urban core of Humpy and it was an image of a man uh, with a flower in one hand and with a mace in the other hand. So I thought what is it all about and what is the story behind this image and I got to know the stories. So that is the story I'm going to tell you now and when you visit Humpy you can see this image and you can remember this story. So let's go ahead with the story that is the Sogandika flower. You know the Pandavas. The Pandavas were five brothers and the second brother Bhima. I'm sure everyone knows about Bhima. So one day Bhima and his wife Draupadi, they were walking through the forest. As they were walking through the forest, suddenly Draupadi could smell something beautiful and it was an awesome fragrance which could smell and she followed her nose and she reached to a place where she saw a flower on the ground and that was where the smell was coming from. She picked up the flower and it turned out to be the Saugandika flower. It was a sacred breed of lotus. And he looked at the flower and she was bewitched with the beauty and the fragrance of the flower. And then she looked around for the flower because she wanted more flowers and she looked around but she could not find any. Then she looked at Bhima, Bhima told, what happened? Please, please can you get me this flower, these, these flowers, you know, I want them. And that's when Bhima told, of course. I'll get it for you. He loved his wife, so he told, of course, I'll get it for you. And he told, okay, let me go ahead and let me search for it. And that was the only clue he had. That is the flower and the smell. So he went on a treasure hunt. Isn't it interesting going on a treasure hunt with that small clue? So he left. And he could smell and he followed the smell and he left. And slowly after around a day or so, he reached um, a mountain. And he reached the mountain and over there he could smell the strong. The smell was very strong. The fragrance was very strong. And he looked up onto the mountain and there from the top of the mountain, the smell was coming. And he told, I'm sure the flowers are over there on the top of the mountain. So, and he started to as he started to move towards the top of the mountain, suddenly he was stopped by a sage. Hey, stop, stop, stop. He muttered, what happened? Why are you stopping me? He said, no, 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 you can't go. He says, no, I, why I can't go? He says, don't, don't. He says, but tell me, I'm going to get the Sogandiga flowers and I think it is over there on the top of the mountain. He says, yes, 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 the Sagarniga flowers are on the top of the mountain, but you can't go over there. Do you know that it is guarded by demons and the spirits? He says, what are you saying? He says, yes, oh, I'm prepared for that. Bhima, you know, he's a very brave man, right? And he's a strong man as well. So, so I'm prepared for it, don't worry. He said, okay, but do you know that that the road to the mountain is, I mean, the forest is very dense and there are demons, there are spirits, there are wild animals. Bhima told, I'm prepared for it. You know, I have this mace in my hand and I have a conch in my hand. So I'll blow the conch and the, with the sound of the conch, the animals will go away. And I have this mace, so if anyone attacks me, I'm going to defend myself. So don't you worry. Thank you for your concern. And the sage told, okay, your choice, you can go. So Bhima left with the mace in his hand and in the other hand, the conch. As he went and he reached the top of the mountain and there was this mountain lake 
and there was this beautiful flower just floating on the leaf. Awesome fragrance. Pima waded into the water and was just plucking the flowers when suddenly there came a demon. And this demon's name was Krodhavasas. Krodhavasas, Krodha means anger in Sanskrit. So she was a short tempered demon. She looked at Bhima and she said, What are you doing? Don't you know I'm guarding this lake? Bhima told, Okay, but I want some flowers and I'm taking them. She says, No, you can't take them. This belongs to Lord Kubera. Kubera is the Lord of Wealth. And you can't take the flowers. So who is going to stop me from taking the flowers? Krodhava said, I am going to stop you from taking the flowers. And saying this, she took out a sword. And Bhima looked at her and immediately took out his mace. And both of them had a huge fight over there. And after some time, Bhima broke the sword of the demon and she got scared and she ran away from there and that is when Lord Kumara came out of the lake and told Bhima, Bhima you can take the flowers as many flowers as you want you can take them. Bhima said thank you and he plucked the flowers and he took the flowers for his wife. Draupadi. So my buddies, if you have a goal, follow it. If you have a dream, follow it. But understand what are the obstacles you might face and be prepared for it. Okay, so see you again tomorrow and there are certain questions before I sign off. Okay, can you tell me uh, what are the names of the five brothers in the Pandavas? Okay. The second question is, what is the name of the flower? The third question is, um, where was the mountain lake okay so these are the three questions for you and tomorrow let's meet again and if you want to uh, want to work on the worksheets or you want to solve the worksheets do email it to us with your email id and we'll send you the worksheets and you can have fun with them so let's listen to stories of a place called humpy earlier known as pampa and now called Happy, you're correct. Thank you. Bye-bye.